Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. We're on the topic this week of winning the warm up. The idea that the warm up can really set the tone for a majority of us tennis players um, for, for playing good matches and having good results. Okay, so today's kind of topic on the warm up is making sure all of us have a really good routine. Uh, to start our warm-up. You know, I think a majority of us tennis players have our little quirky things. We're creatures of habit. So whether I'm playing at my home club, whether I'm playing at somebody else's court, you know, the pros, they got to travel from continent to continent. And a warm-up and a routine specifically can make us feel right at home regardless of the changing environment around us, okay? You know, you see like a, a Rafael Nadal, he's got to get his little water bottles turned exactly perfect. Something about that sets him at ease. You see him race out to the baseline, he kind of bounces from side to side and sprints to the baseline. All of that stuff, you know, is his routine. It's what he's comfortable with at the start of a match. For me personally, one thing I really like you know, for whatever reason is being the guy that spins my racket to see, you know, whether I'm going to serve or receive. It's something that for me puts me at ease and it's, and it's part of my routine to start matches where I feel like it helps me to be a little more successful for whatever reason. Um, so what I would suggest to you guys in terms of having a routine is, you know, obviously it's your own personal choice, but it doesn't have to be a lot. A lot of times one good idea, whether it's tying your right shoelace before your left shoelace, get, get attached to something simple um, that, that makes you guys comfortable and gives you something to do every single time you step on the court, like I said, regardless of where you play, so that you have this sense of environment, this sense of home, no matter where you guys play. The other thing that I think is really important in terms of having a routine is finding your serve in the warm up. You know, I think most of us, if we were allowed five to seven minutes in a warm up, are usually going to take, you know, four or five minutes of ground strokes. And then we'll sprint up to the net, maybe have a minute, minute and a half of volleys and overheads. And I see so many players that leave 30 seconds to warm up serves. And to me, the serve is the most important shot, and it's the shot that sets the tone for your match because we're using it to start every point. So set aside a little more time, you guys, to find your serve. Get the slice warmed up. If you've got a kick serve, get that working. Obviously, pop a couple flat serves. Get that confidence in the serve in the warm-up so that we're not taking a game or two in the match to get our serves going. I think, uh, you know, like I said, the serve's the most important shot. So let's start to, to have a routine of taking a little more time out for the serve, whether that means a little less ground strokes, a little less volleys. I think you guys will find that uh, having the serve ready to rock and roll the second you start the match is invaluable. Okay, so again, we're trying to win this warm up, trying to set a great tone. So have a routine. Think about Rafa Nadal, again, it, he might be a little obsessive compulsive with what he does, but there is definitely a method uh, that he's using that I think all of us can kind of latch on to, to have that sense of environment, that sense of comfortability, and then get those serves firing in the warm up. okay? Hope that was extremely helpful for you guys. Please go out, take that advice, use it to your advantage, and we'll see you guys soon.